Hey, what's up guys? So as well as the bottle rockets I have left over from 4th of July, I also have a bunch of Roman candles. So these are the ones that basically just shoot continuous flaming balls out of a pipe. And I was thinking about a project I could do with these and I thought that a tripwire alarm would be perfect because think about it, like if you want something to warn you, what's the only thing better than a giant flaming ball shooting in the sky? Yeah, that's right. 10 flaming balls shooting in the sky. So these things probably last around a minute. So that means it's not just a one and done. Like these things will keep going. And if you can't see that someone tripped the wire by 10 flaming balls shooting in the sky, then there's not a lot more I can do for you guys. So the trick is figuring out how to ignite these when someone trips a tripwire or something. Let's get to it. All right, so I've assembled here a collection of materials that I think are gonna help. So my plan basically is to take this clip right here and kind of use this as like an on-off switch. So have two terminals right here and have something in the middle. Um, so when that thing gets pulled out, um, it'll complete the circuit. And um, so that's a way to trigger the circuit. So once we have the circuit, we can actually use it to light off the Roman candles. And I'm gonna do that by using some nichrome wire um, attached to a nine volt. So basically this stuff, uh, it's very resistive to current. Um, so all the excess current gets expelled as heat. Um, and it's also very durable, so you can use this, pretty sure you can use this over and over again, but look what happens when it attaches to a nine volt. It uh, glows red hot like a light filament. So that's perfect for lighting off the firework fuse attached to these Roman candles. And um, even if it takes like maybe five seconds for the fuse to light, um, the person's not gonna get that far and um, you'll still have 10 flaming shots going up in the air and you'll definitely know something's been tripped. If nothing less, it'll scare the crap out of the person who just tripped it. Because what are they gonna do, try and go put this out? Um, you'll see how I'm gonna actually mount this and it's, it's gonna be really cool. So uh, yeah, let's build this. All right guys, so I've just hooked up a small bit of the firework fuse, um, attached to some nichrome, and we're just gonna test it out to see what type of reaction we're gonna get, and just to see how long it actually takes for the time when I hook up the battery to uh, when the fuse actually ignites. So we've got some alligator clips hooked on there, and I've got my battery right here. And we're just gonna hook up the battery. And I've got the other clip right here. All right guys, let's see how long this takes. All right, so that took about three to four seconds to light. So not too bad. They definitely won't get that far away before the fuse goes off. All right guys, so we've got the contraption pretty much built. Um, how this works, we've got a clothespin right here that uh, opens and closes, and attached to the clothespin, we've got two metal terminals 
on the end. And we have a little bit of fishing wire attached to a piece of plastic. Um, so this piece of plastic acts as a circuit breaker. Um, so this just sits right in here, just like that. And um, attached to these two terminals, we have a nine volt battery and some alligator clips hooked to that. Um, these alligator clips will go to the fireworks, which we have right here. So let's go ahead and open these up. Just grab one out for now. And then right on the end here, you can see we have the fuse. So if we go ahead and grab a piece of nichrome wire, we can actually go ahead and wrap this right around the fuse. I'm gonna wrap it around the base so it catches fire at the base and doesn't have to burn through this whole fuse. So what I actually did was to go ahead and dig a hole to bury the Roman candles in. Um, it's actually perfect because they're already inside a tube and that's part of the reason I didn't want to use bottle rockets um, because I'd actually have to make a tube for that. And Roman candles are better because they don't quite shoot as high, um, but they shoot for a lot longer. So it gives you a lot of time to realize that the tripwire has been tripped and yeah, it just makes a whole big scene. So as you can see guys, this thing definitely works. I dare you to find a tripwire that will alert you more than this thing. So uh, yeah, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, um, go share it around with your friends, and um, subscribe for some more cool projects. So um, that's all I've got for today guys, so I will catch you in the next video.